क्लास गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग बच्चो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू डूइंग ऑसम एंड वी आर अगेन बैक बैक अगेन विद सोल्यूशन ऑफ टू मोर पेपर सो दिस टाइम वी हैव बॉट द सोल्यूशन फॉर तमिलनाडु एंड तेलंगाना रीजन स्टेज वन सो यू कैन डाउनलोड द आंसर की इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड ऑल्सो दोज हुज एग्जाम्स आर पेंडिंग फॉर टुमारो दोज विल बी गिविंग देर एग्जाम टुमारो यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच सम मोर क्वेश्चन विच आई बी डिस्कसिंग हियर सो आई हैव डन द थ्री पेपर सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट एंड इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोज आई हैव सॉल्व द Uh, the two uh, two more four papers I have solved till now. So the solution of those four papers you can see there, and I'll be picking some good questions which will be helpful for you in the coming uh, exams, which is for to due for tomorrow. So all the best to all those who I have not given their exam yet, and their exam is due tomorrow. To all the best, bachcho, and let's move ahead with the questions. So first question is seven thirty one two hundred and eleven and two three one one. Right. So here, bachcho, you will see that it is not making any sense. Right. Seven, then thirty one, then two hundred and eleven. Then two three one one. So one more thing, these numbers are growing quite uh, like uh, with a huge margin. They are increasing, right? So definitely either the cube of something is used or the multiplication way, something like that. You have to focus your majorly. You have to fo focus on that part. Now it is not a direct multiplication because you can see seven and thirty one. They are not related anywhere, right? They are not related anywhere. So seven to thirty one, you need to create. Then thirty one to two hundred eleven, how it can be created? So in that manner, you have to. Think forward. So the correct answer will be option D. How the pattern is, sir. First thing we'll be getting two into three plus one is seven. Okay. You can also think that seven into four plus three, but then thirty one into four plus three will do. You'll not be able to get two hundred and eleven. So the pattern here is two into three plus one, then two into three into five plus one, then two into three into five into seven plus one, and then two into three into five into seven into eleven. So we are multiplying the prime numbers two three, then two three five, two three five seven, two three five seven eleven, two three five seven eleven thirteen, then plus one. So this was a very difficult question considering this uh, sequence part. Okay, so if you're not able to see this pattern, you can also you can also go out for these kind of patterns also. So keep these patterns also in your mind. Sometimes the prime numbers can also be very useful for finding out the pattern, right? Let's move to the next question: two, six, fifteen, thirty-one, and fifty-six. So this is the next pattern, which is what we're just saying, tell, telling you that first is two, then there is six, then there is fifteen, then there is thirty-one, then there is fifty-six, and so on, right? So now, how do you identify the pattern? The pattern here is, बच्चों, you can see the first number is, the first is two, then the next number is two plus two square. Okay, fifteen is six plus three square. Then whatever the first number is two, then in two add two square, you'll get six. In six add three square, you'll get fifteen. In fifteen you'll get add four square, you'll get thirty-one. You can also find it out by this way. If the difference between six and two is four, fifteen and six is nine. 31 and 15 is 16 so you can see 4 9 16 25 25 so the next number should be 56 plus 36 so 56 plus 36 will give you 92 right easy pattern can be easily identified let's move to the next question bachcho the next question is 5 1 11 6 17 36 23 and what so here bachcho you can clearly see this this looks like ki the numbers are increasing decreasing increasing decreasing so it may be the combination of two sequences it may be the combination of two sequences so here you can see that 5 to 11 11 to 17 and 70 to 23 every time we are doing plus 6 right so the next number we don't bother about it we need to find out this part so here you can see 1 then 6 then 36 so it is 6 raised to the power 0 It is six raised to the power one. It is six raised to the power two. So the next number should be six raised to the power three. Six cube. So six cube is what? Two hundred and sixteen. So correct answer is option A, which is two hundred and sixteen. So this is the combination of two sequences, right? Just think of these kind of problem. Just look at the numbers first. Try to identify the pattern. The more questions you will solve related to sequence and series, the more ideas you will be getting, and the more you will be able to identify the questions, right? Let's move to the next question, but so identify the wrong number or letter in the series. So here in this part in the series, which one is the wrong one? Which one is the wrong one? Okay, so twenty-five, sixty-two, one hundred and twenty-two, two hundred and fourteen, and three forty-one. So now you need to find out one pattern in all these part, 
and then you have to think that how can I get the next part and which one is not fitting properly in this part given. So the C, C, uh, the pattern here was key sir 25 you'll be getting as 3 cube minus 2. 62 is 6 cube minus 2. Okay. Sorry, it is 4 cube. 4 cube. It is not 6 cube. It is 4 cube. Sorry. 3 cube minus 2. See, 3 cube minus 2. 27 minus 2. 64 minus 2. Then it is 125 minus 3. Okay, so just see here. They all are very close to 27 minus 2. Then 64 minus 2. Then it is 125 minus 3. This is 216 minus 2 and this is 343 minus 2 so everywhere but you can see they are two less than a perfect cube 27 64 216 343 except this 122 122 is three less than that so the wrong term is what 122 so on this way but just keep all these numbers in your mind the prime numbers square numbers cube numbers multiplication these all ideas should be there in your mind so that you can implement that how it can be solved further right let's move to the next question the next question is here we need to find out this is one these two are following some pattern and then we have to find out what should be here at the place of question mark what should follow this question mark now when the letters are given we know that they they carry their values okay they carry a numerical value as well so let us look at the numerical values so the numerical values for a is 1 it is also 1 and b is 2 and d is 4 right so i can say it is becoming 1 plus 1 which is 2 now it can be 2 plus 2 4 or 2 into 2 4 both can be anything so let's look at the next part the next part d is 4 bacho b is 2 2 and h a b c d e f g h h is 8 so it's very clear that it is 2 plus 2 4 and 4 plus 4 right so it is plus addition operation of addition 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 right now let's look here but here we have e e is what 5 5 and then we have a b c d e f g h i and sorry it is j it is j which is 10 so 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 10 20 and which letter has the word 20 the numerical value of 20 is given to 2 uh, to t right e j o t so t is the 20th letter so the correct answer is t the correct answer is t right so whenever the letters are given there but try to implement the numerical values that is also helpful the numerical values is two type one is a is 1 z is 26 and other is z is 1 a is 26 so both the ways are there okay so you have to follow first always go for a is equal to 1 z is equal to 26 if that is not helping out if that is not working properly go for the reverse one also you can check the reverse one as well right let's move to the next question but which of the following statement is correct now whenever these questions are there always read the question type uh, twice whether the question is asking you which one is correct or incorrect sometimes people uh, like in the pressure of examination you tend to make mistakes so for avoiding that mistake i'm telling you always read the question type uh, twice and underline this part ki, okay the question is asking me which one are correct right now let us start the options one by one the number of real numbers between 1 and 2 is same as 1 and 3. Now this option when you will see you might feel ki okay it is wrong but let's leave it for now. Let's look at the other options and then I'll explain what does it mean. The second option was the first positive real number is 0. No wrong 0 is a neutral number after 0 whatever is the first real number which we don't know because it's very 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 small that will be positive but I can say 0 is not a positive number 0 is a neutral number so it is wrong right 0 is neither negative nor positive then the non-negative integers starts with 1 wrong wrong the non-negative integer starts with minus 1 right so that is also wrong then the number of natural numbers is finite that is also wrong the natural numbers how many natural numbers are there infinite natural numbers 1 2 3 4 up to infinity so this is also wrong so that means a has to be correct now why a is correct but if i ask you bachcho, ki between one and two how many numbers are there you will say infinite numbers right 
एंड बिटवीन वन एंड थ्री इफ आई आस्क यू हाउ मेनी नंबर आर देयर यू विल से इन्फाइट नंबर नाउ यू मस्ट भी थिंकिंग कि सर बिटवीन वन एंड टू वॉट एवर नंबर आर देयर बिटवीन वन एंड थ्री द नंबर शुड भी डबल बट एट दी कंसेप्ट ऑफ इन्फिनिटी बच्चों इन्फिनिटी प्लस इन्फिनिटी इज इन्फिनिटी ओनली ओके डबल ऑफ इन्फिनिटी इज ऑल्सो इन्फिनिटी ओनली सो इन्फिनिटी इज दैट ह्यूज इट इज नॉट अ नंबर इट इज एन आइडिया इट्स वेरी 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 ह्यूज राइट सो वील से द नंबर सी ऑल द नंबर बिटवीन जीरो टू वन दे आर इक्वल टू द नंबर बिटवीन वन एंड टू दे आर इक्वल टू नंबर बिटवीन जीरो टू टू ओनली बिकॉज एवरी वेयर द आंसर इज इन्फाइट ओनली ओके सो आई वुड से कि ए मेक्स द मोस्ट सेंस सो ए इज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट वॉज अ गुड क्वेश्चन दैट इज आई टोल्ड यू डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज डियर ओके सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए Let's move to the next question, बच्चों The next question is, if south becomes northeast and north becomes southwest, then what will be the northwest? Okay, so now let's look at the uh, problem, बच्चों So you know the directions. So the directions are like this, right? This is north, this is south, this is east, this is west. right now we are saying that south becomes north east so this south bachcho this south is now north east earlier where was north east earlier the north east was here this was north east this was south east this is south west and this is northwest right so you can see bachcho ki this north east has rotated it through an angle of 135 degree in this direction which is what clockwise right the clockwise rotation then we have told ki north becomes southwest so this southwest has rotated it clockwise 135 degree so it is now southwest so now they are asking then northwest becomes what will northwest will become so northwest we need to rotate it through an angle of 135 degree right so let us rotate it to the angle of 135 degree so rotation of 135 degree will give you from here to here so this will become your north west okay so east will become your northwest then northwest becomes they are reading south no bachcho this option is marked here wrong okay so northwest becomes east northwest becomes east because south is already northeast na so northwest becomes east okay so correct answer is option a let's move to the next question the next question is one evening during sunset a person is standing facing a pole the shadow of the pole fell exactly to his left the person faces the direction now during evening bachcho so direction sense you need to have for this question okay so these are your directions bachcho okay north south east west right now you had a pole this is the pole and you know bachcho ki during the evening during evening sun sets in the west so sun will be here and if sun is here bachcho i can clearly say that the shadow will be in the east right shadow is in east direction now the person is saying that this shadow is towards his left this person is towards his left so now you know bachcho whenever you are writing anything you are always facing north from your perspective you are always facing north so if i am facing north you can see the shadow is on my right so a person facing south the shadow will be on his left right so the person is facing which direction the person faces south direction the person faces south direction so this is the main uh, main concept here right the shadow problems these are the concepts okay let's move to the next question bachcho so this was all the questions for this session these were the good questions rest all the questions you can see in the description box you can see the solutions as well and you will see the the questions are very easy very repetitive if you have done really well but you don't get nervous at the end moment i'm telling you don't get nervous you will do well if you are prepared well i'm telling you luck favors the brave so if you are brave enough to prepare if you are prepared enough if you are done the real hard work then don't get nervous now calm your mind give the 
एग्जाम विद अ काम माइंड एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू यू विल गेट दी सक्सेस ओके सो विद दिस बच्चो ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू दोज हुआ राइटिंग टू मोरो एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल एस योर एग्जाम्स ऑल ऑफ यू विल डू एवरीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग करेक्ट सो आई होप your exams will be uh, favoring uh, will be bringing a, a lot of good luck for you okay so i hope your tomorrow's uh, tomorrow will become a good day for you okay so bachcho with this i'll end the session now so you can see the the answer key in the description box you can see the, uh, the answer key in the description box and you can download that and you can check your marks as well so bachcho also one more thing i would like to tell you all you can now download the vedantus app as well all in one app as i have been telling you live classes are there their schedule is there practice test study material everything you are getting in that single app so do download that app bachcho also one more thing that uh, like and share this video those your friends who are who has not given the exams yet or those will be giving tomorrow do share with them the courses which we have done ntsc whole playlist is there if you are not comfortable if you are not uh, say comfortable yet with any one or two topics you can go to that ntsc met playlist and in those 20 classes are there you can pick the topic which you think that you still require some practice that topic you can rewatch and get marks okay so much so this is all from my side uh, my side in today's class and uh, all the best to all of you i'll see you soon in the next class bachcho till then bye bye good night i'll see you soon bye bye